Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man. Uh, since finishing that last mission at the museum and having our dinner with MJ, we have another skill point, which means we can actually... Oh, we have two. We can grab a few things. We can grab the long web strike. That's more damaging, but also the point boost, which means when we use our web zip to land on a perch, we can boost off of it for extra speed. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. So we're just about at the crime scene of one Herman Schultz, a.k.a. Shocker. By the way, not Shocker like Electricity, which is very important of a distinction because there's another villain named Electro who is Electricity based. Hi, Herman. Seriously? That Shockwave effect is really cool. Which, yeah, you have to put a lot of work into making that look cool if you're going to have a whole villain based around it. Also, I like these chase sequences you occasionally get. He's got to catch up to him. So his initial design is just a bright yellow full-body fishnet suit, like his comic design that he was first introduced with. The cool thing is they do incorporate the fishnet pattern into this uh, costume in the game. It's just a little bit less silly looking, which I appreciate. I generally like it when they update old weird costumes without stripping away the whole identity. Uh, they do that with Octavius here, too. Uh, it's this nice middle ground between recognizable and modern. It's updated, but not entirely unrecognizable. It's not like the old uh, Fox X-Men movies. Where they're like, whoa, bright colors and spandex are dumb. Let's put them in boring black leather cat suits and dunk on colors. Like, that feels like they're actively ashamed of the, the history and the legacy of where these comics came from and what the characters looked like in their comic book appearances. Gotcha. Now let's talk. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of. Oh, that's gonna actually screw me up. Because I let myself go a little bit too low before that second thwip. You must be working with someone. Starting from a from a stop and on the ground at that makes the second leg of the chase tricky for just a moment. This will go better. Ah, especially since I cleared the building. And then, whoop, that wasn't quite the point boost. You do have to time it a little bit. Oop. Little hiccup. We'll make up some speed with a boost. Oh, they just add more and more stuff that makes it feel exquisite. Also, one easy way to clear distance on him is actually height. Like that. You know what, Herman? You have like zero personality. 
but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. We super don't have free time. Oh, that's cool. That's hey, why I MJ. like web zips. You're up late. Or uh, point zips, zips, whatever they're called. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the... Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. No, I it cut the call it. off. Damn it. I hate when that happens. Might as well go inside, though. Oh, but first, wait, If is this what I think it is? Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Uh, so we're back at the gymnasium. And I think this is where that conversation with MJ was going about the mask. I could patch these shoes. Last a while. We're going to talk a little bit I never to uh, the Mr. Lee about the origins of it. Of them, rather. Peter. What can I do for you? Uh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Uh, I don't know. Why take the risk? We didn't exactly learn too much new information, especially hey, about the, the assailants. Inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. That is to say, what well, Mr. Lee told us well as about the assailants, we didn't know much of. Just that they're dangerous folks and that... The masks they're using are Chinese in origin. The subtext of that whole conversation, what they aren't saying to each other, that says a whole lot more. It's not exactly subtle foreshadowing. So I think next up we're off to the lab again. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey workout in the city. No, I will not take that suggestion. Because I think sooner or later they'll just pop up. 
And in the meantime, maybe I will have to do a side thing. Uh, in the meantime, I was looking at my notes for the episode and just going back through some old notes and I found one old note that is only very tangentially related and it it was something like every berry is a spider egg and when you bite in they pop and baby spiders skitter across your tongue like pop rocks that's what pop rocks are Something dangerous. Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. I don't know Please why I wrote that. Back Oops. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I do like you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Oh, and we learn a little bit more about Mr. Lee. Um, I don't know why I wrote those words down. I don't know if it was an idea I had for a story, or a part of a story, or a Hello? joke. Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. I don't know if oh, it was hey, something I've up? said before on video or meant to say and didn't, but this is how my brain works totally when forgot. I take notes sometimes. I mean, I didn't forget, forget. I just I'll write weird I'll things out of context soon. and then come back to it months or years later and have no idea what, what it was about. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. Alright, we've finally taken care of some things and gotten this to pop up. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But, but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. 
I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Hey, we finally met Norman Osborn. And Peter was fired. Aww. We also got a name drop of Harry, one of Peter's best friends. And the heir to the Oscorp fortune. Do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. And this will introduce yet another facet I'll of the game to us. Aw, we couldn't get enough height. left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. Research stations give us research tokens, which we can spend on new gadget upgrades and the like. Oh, we have to start it from this console. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the um, Holy shit. contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. And suddenly it just looks like the end of Arkham Knight with all the fear like gas engulfing the city. Holy shit. Samples, then trace them to the that escalated instantly. That's going to do it for now. Uh, I'm off to PAX. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.